The Sokani X21 undoubtedly looks like a copy of the infamous Aperture ALM9. The resemblance is undeniable. It even comes in a pouch that looks just like the pouch of the Aperture M9. But then again, I don't feel completely right just calling this a direct copy and nothing else because they have definitely added to it in their own ways. By the way, I'm giving away three of these at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So in case you're wondering what this is exactly, it's a super portable LED light that has a built-in rechargeable battery. Compared to the Aperture M9, it's larger and significantly heavier because instead of plastic, it's primarily constructed out of metal. One of the most noticeable features on the X21 is perhaps the LED screen on the back of the LED which displays the current output level and also how much battery is left. So this, in my opinion, is its biggest advantage over the Aperture M9 which has no way of telling you what its current output is at and how much battery you have left. So speaking of batteries, this is powered by a non-removable 1600mAh lithium-ion battery and you can charge it through a micro USB port on the side of the LED. A charging cable is also included with the light. You'll also find a quarter inch thread directly on the bottom of the light itself which makes it so convenient to mount the light directly to stands without needing an additional mount attachment like the M9 does. So I'm really happy that the thread is there. As an additional bonus, it also comes with a cold shoe adapter and on the base of the cold shoe adapter, there's even a 3 8 inch thread. And on the front of the unit, you will find the 21 individual LEDs and you'll also find a clear plastic sheet that protects the LEDs underneath so they're not exposed like that of the M9. It also has magnetic filters that clip on, so it comes with two of these. One is some kind of diffusion and the other one is a warming filter. It also comes with a whole bunch of color gels that you can sandwich between the magnetic filters. So operation-wise, you turn on the light by holding down the power button and then you do have to wait a moment for the logo to disappear before you press the power button again to actually turn on the light. So to dim the light, you've got two buttons. It goes from 1% to 100% and you can dim it in 1% increments. Now, quite frankly, I don't see the point of making 1% adjustments to a light of this size and brightness, but it's there. And luckily, you do have the option of dimming it in 10% increments by holding down the plus or minus button. Now the brightness for a light of this size is very impressive. So at maximum output, the Sokani X21 is ever so slightly brighter than the maximum of the Aperture M9, a tenth of a stop to be exact, even though this has 12 LEDs more than the M9. Measuring at a distance of roughly two feet, I was getting between 20 and 21 foot candles on the Sokani X21. In terms of color temperature, I measured it using my Lumu power and it clocked in at 5,370 Kelvin, which is acceptably close to daylight. And after popping on the warming filter, it actually puts it to 3170 Kelvin, which is pretty damn close to tungsten. So that is my overview of the Sokani X21. It is what it is, a very powerful LED light that packs quite a punch. The X21 retails for $49 USD, which interestingly is the exact same retail price as the Aperture M9. Now the M9 is not a bad light by any means, but from a consumer's point of view, it does seem like the X21 is offering a bit more value for the money. Also, Sokani is sponsoring three units of the X21 to the channel to be given away. So to qualify, all you have to do is be a subscriber if you're not already, and then leave a comment in the comment section below containing the hashtag Z giveaway. So in a week's time, I will be randomly selecting and announcing the winners on the 11th of August over on my official Instagram account. So watch that space. And that's all there is to it. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.